So what we want to do here is we want to rotate uh, this triangle, ABC, that's what it says here, 180 degrees, about 2, 1. So this is a coordinate. So first of all, let's find 2, 1, which is here, 1, 2, 1. So this here is going to be the center of rotation. Okay, next thing is, let's go about the business of uh, rotating this shape. What I like to do is I like to get tracing paper and on this tracing paper, I like to draw uh, my own set of axes, okay? So make those little dashes and then I can go through the business of uh, drawing the axes. And I take my time just to make sure that that is accurate. The more accurate I uh, create these axes, the more accurate my rotation will be. Okay, so I've got my uh, axes now, my set of axes, and <clears throat> from this point, for a while anyway, I will ignore the original um, axes there, the pink ones, because I'm not going to be rotating from here, which is zero, zero. I need to be rotating from here, which is uh, point two, one. That's the coordinate point. So I'll put my axes and center it on two, one. So like this and across it. Okay, so lining the axes up with the grid lines on the grid paper, just make sure that they all sort of line up. At this point, I now plot where the original points for the triangle are. So triangle ABC, I just plot where each of those points is. Now, I'm going to rotate these points 180 degrees, about this point here, which is 2, 1. So essentially, here's how you can think of it. When this axis, when as, as I spin it around, when this axis gets to line up with this line, I know I've gone 90, 180. I've gone all the way around. Okay, so I'm going this way. I could go the other way, but I'm not. I'm going clockwise. Okay, so I spin it round, round, round. And at this point, I've gone 90. So I'm watching this one, remember, watching this axis. And remember, I'm going for here. This is where I want to be. Uh, this line needs to align with this line. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And okay, so now I'm there. So this axis now aligns with this line, so that's all good. Just make sure all my axes line up on the grid lines. Okay, cool. And now I can see that I have rotated point A, B, C, all the way around here, A, B, C. Now at this point, what I like to do is just plot those uh, points. Now they're not gonna be A, B, C anymore. A, B, C are over here, A, B, C. These are gonna be the image of A, B, C, so A dash, B dash, C dash, and just give the coordinates. So now I need to pay attention again to the pink, or the original uh, axes that is on this sheet. And so I can just find where B is, which is here. So one, two, three, four, five, zero. Okay, so B is five, zero. C is over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero. And A is way over here, actually goes beyond uh, that original uh, axis, but I can keep counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two. So it's gonna be eight, negative two. Now I can, of course, not even worry about doing that. I can just look at where A dash is gonna be, which is here, and lift this up, okay? And keep this firmly in place with my other fingers, and just go, okay, so A dash is gonna be here. I could do them like that, see there. But that really relies on you know, the paper not moving and all sorts of other um, uh, problems like that potentially, uh, especially if you have a, a shape which is far more complicated than just a circle. So this way, by taking coordinates, makes it far more reliable and I don't, it's not very fiddly by lifting things up, lifting things up. So let's plot uh, A, just make sure it's in the right place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Minus two, so this is done, good. 
um, five zero one two three four five zero so that's B and seven zero one two three four five six seven that's C dash now plotted all the points all I have to do now is join these points and create uh, the image of triangle uh, ABC just take my time line up all these points Cool. And there I have, I've got the image uh, of triangle ABC, which is triangle A dash, B dash, and C dash. And there you go, job done.